peace power and protection beautiful scorpios welcome to your thursday reading your thursday reading today we are going to focus on finances today is the ruling planet jupiter's uh day so why not take a little peeky peek see what's coming in in terms of career finances um you know see if any of you all have some exciting news coming in pertaining business uh so i do want to focus on that energy how are we doing today beloveds i will each and every one of you beautiful souls are absolutely feeling healthy wealthy mind body and soul everything is everything on my side of the planet i am um definitely appreciating all the feedback on the video I posted yesterday about you know no talent is being the new talent and 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 it, it could be a little frustrating admittedly um, it's annoying I'm human but I definitely don't want y'all to think that I'm just like sitting up and, and stressing and and I can't get no rest over it because I, I know like you all know like it, it's just it's bound to happen you know where people will uh, try to eat from your plate you know and um, I know that there's going to be karma for people to pay for things. It's almost like you are uh, stealing other people's identity. You know, you're stealing people's identity. Therefore, you are stealing the, the blessings, you know, that those individuals who are tuning in with a um, with good intention, uh, you could be stealing their blessings. That's why I, I, I really strongly advise anyone, um, you know, even when it comes to me, you know, if there's something that doesn't rock with you, unsubscribe, beloved. You know, everybody is not for everybody. That's all I'm saying. And when you see so many people just like flocked, I strongly believe like there is, um, there's other things at play. I, I, because some of these people that have, these large platforms, no diss, no disrespect. I don't see the gift. Like I, I really don't see what other people are so addicted to because it is a form of addiction if you're uh, doing anything, any doing anything, you know, in excess can be addictive. Watching readings every day, all day, that's an addiction. Drinking every day that's an addiction if you're smoking marijuana all day that is an addiction and the question is can you can you kick it can you kick the habit you know can you go a day because i mean who's in control you with a marijuana who's in control you with a tarot that's what you have to really be discerning of that's why i really encourage you all to just be mindful of your behavior because scorpios have a naturally addictive personality you know, we can become obsessive when we find things we like. We, we tend to do it over and over and over. So that's why it's very important um, to wait. What's going on? I'm getting a message here. What is going on? All right. My bad. I was seeing a message and I didn't want to mess around. And then the thing is saying like um, not enough space because sometimes I'm using my old computer because my other one still has not been sent to me. Apparently, they are having more difficulty repairing it. And I'm just like, why don't you replace it with a brand new one? Instead of holding my stuff hostage, it's really ridiculous. So let me see what's going on with this thing. I don't know what it's saying. Removable device detected. Oh, yes, it's, it's my microphone. Okay, all right, this can go. This can go away. All right, so I guess this... This is like detecting the microphone and it's confusing the computer. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, my bad. So as I was saying, you know, just be mindful of who you're listening to uh, because it, it's your responsibility now to not get misled. You know, if you allow people to come in and dupe you, you allow people to come in and, and, and um, you know, this trick knowledge, this, this, this fake, you know, news that they're giving you through the tarot. I mean, it's just, it's just like at this point in time, it is, it is so saturated with nonsense you know the tower world it, it's just like it, it it rubs me the wrong way sometimes like I don't even want to do it sometimes I'm just like ill I don't want to be one of them you know but then spirit be like nah you're not you know you still have you know I I'm being used for a reason and I know it isn't going to be forever that I'm going to be doing this but for the time being I have to be true to those of you 
who are absolutely doing your work. I could tell the work I'm doing by the people that show through, show up in my comment section and the, the, the stories that you all tell, um, you know, or share, you know, your stories you share, um, your experiences that you've overcome. That gives me that drive to continue to go. Because there's been many a times I was just like, yo, I'm not feeling this, beloved. I'm like, you know, I'm not seeing no rewards. I'm not seeing, like, you know, but there was a saying that came to me a couple of months ago and it was like, real isn't popular. You know what I'm talking about? And that really humbled me, that grounded me, earthed me in that moment. Like spirit was like, I was on a nature walk. It was like on my nice little five mile nature walk. And I was really, you know, cause I have nature walks and nature talks with spirit. I'd be out there talking, you know what I'm saying? You know, people driving by might think I'm talking to somebody on the phone. But I'm talking to spirit, I'm talking to the trees, I'm talking to the angels, you know, I'm talking to my ancestors. And um, that was the download they gave me. Real isn't popular. So don't look for, you know, your success in numbers, um, you know, per se. You know, like, oh, I got a gazillion subscribers, so I must really be the ish. Nah, man, that, that that's that's the, the illusion. And that's why I said, okay, so what, what this platform does is the people that really, all you gotta do is just look at truth speakers, people who are trying to, you know, drop a dime and give you some, some game on what's really going on, you know, by, beneath the veil and the wizards of odds that are at play, um, they get censored, they get blocked, you know, those videos get shadow banned. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, that is for a reason. So there is some, thing, some entity, some energy that tries to block the truth from being exposed or tries to block the light, you know, from shining. And, and that is why I say to all of you who have platforms such as myself, like my Lady Scorpius and my Roots Deep, keep doing what you're doing, beloveds, because trust and believe there is someone out there that is being helped. There is someone out there that you are impacting in a positive way because you're being true to your gift you're being true to who you are and that means that you are touching a heart touching a soul and that's what we're here to do we're not here to focus on how many subscribers we have or don't have we're not here to focus on how many likes we have or don't have you know what i'm talking about it's not about that and, and, and that's what I was getting lost in because that's what happens when you are on these platforms. You begin to think you have to navigate this, this, uh, this space in the same way where you're obsessively worrying about the numbers and worrying about the likes. And, and that is cognitive dissonance, to be honest with you, because it isn't about that. That will distract you from your path. That will distract you from your mission. And that's what happens with so many, you know, artists that have true gifts and then they get into the entertainment world. And next thing you know, you have this damn, you know, devil worshiping right up in your face there's so many artists that went in there all just you know sweet and wholesome and then give them a year or two they start wearing devil horns and every video is red what's that girl um that girl that just lost her mind i don't even know her name see things that don't matter to me you'll notice that i don't retain it in my mental rolodex i don't know the names i don't know the songs i don't because i don't listen i don't pay attention but i do know that this young lady came into the game all wholesome and clean. I mean, like most of them, they all go in there clean and then give them a couple of years and they have been literally compromised spiritually. They've sold their souls. That's why you have to be mindful of who you idolize. Idol tree is demonic. It's, it, it's devilish. It, it, you shouldn't idolize nobody. You could appreciate, gather the information, keep it pushing. They are human like you. You know, and these people lose their way because they get focused on the money. They get focused on the fame and it becomes greed. It becomes gluttonous. And that's not what we're here for. We're here to enlighten. We're here to spark the mind that's going to change the world. You know what I'm talking about? We're here to activate. That's what we're here to do. Empower, encourage, inspire. And then we carry on because we're not the ones giving you the message. The message is coming from source. You know what I'm saying? The messages are coming straight from source. We are mere vessels. Just as I said, anybody doing tarot reading, 
sitting out here with a God complex, thinking that they're the Jesuses, the Jesuses, you know what I'm saying, of this, this tarot world? No, you're just a vessel. And the same way you were used, you could be dismissed, you could be discarded. So it was very important to not get all egotistical. And, and I had to check myself with that, you know, after watching that video, because I'm just like, mm, you know, people are going to do what they do. People are, are, are definitely, um, you know, they're, they're, we are imperfect, you know what I'm saying? And through our imperfections, things will, you'll see certain behaviors play out and, it is no surprise, you know, that people will mimic and bite and, and steal. And, and it, I mean, it happens in the real world. So why wouldn't it happen in the virtual world? So I say all of that to say, just to bring it on back home, be mindful of who you watch, you know, use a discerning eye. As I said, trust your intuition. If something doesn't sit right, feel right in your spirit, keep it pushing. Don't even have certain things you know, don't even be subscribed to certain things that no longer resonate with you. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you see that somebody is like still just like there's no growth, you know, it's like whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So if you don't see the progression of someone that you're watching a reader, um, that might be a sign that you need to like click off because how are you going to be, you know, further along than the person that was supposedly hipping you to gain? waking in awakening you so it's like you know that is a sign when it's time to like you know sever the tie because that is a soul tie that is a that is something that can anchor you and when you constantly see their feed you always feel drawn to go back and listen and and, and it's just dismal it can become dismal so be mindful be more be more particular choose your you know who you're subscribed to and who you watch and what you're like ingesting um, you know, as if you would, what your, uh, what you would eat, you know, choose it as if it's something that matters. Like if you are somebody who loves cars, choose your tarot reader the same way you would choose your vehicle of choice, you know, choose your, 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 uh, whomever your, your, your tarot reader, your, whoever you go to for that, that consultation, spiritual consultation or download, like ask yourself, like, do they really know what they talking about? Like, like, have I seen where they've channeled anything or are they just saying what everybody says when a uh, ace of cups come up? Are they saying what everybody says when a seven of pentacles come up? Like, is it just regurgitated and, and redundant at this point? You know what I'm saying? Do you see any moment of like synchronicity when somebody says something and then boom, it shows up in the screw on the, on camera live and direct. You know what I'm talking about? Like really use a discerning eye. You know what I'm saying? Somebody needs to hear that because some, some folks are being misled, misguided because they looking at the numbers. People get blinded by the light also, you know, like, oh, well, if there's 500,000 people subscribed to this person, they must have something to say. And that's just, that's, that's nonsense because there's a lot of people out here that are propagating, you know, ignorance and, 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 you know, um, a death culture. You know, does that mean that's what you should be following? Does that mean that's something you should be, you know, giving your attention to? Our attention, our energy is currency. These people know that. And that's why they keep the drama going. That's why every week, every month, somebody beefing every week. There's, there's something new Kanye said. There's something new Beyonce doing. It's just like it's all distractions. And you got to stay the course. Everything's pulling and tugging at your, at your attention. And you just got to stay the course. You got to stay focused, beloved. Because everything doesn't deserve your attention. If everyone and everyone, if everyone and anything could get your attention, you'll never make it to your destination. You'll never grow because everybody is just, that's what leeches do. They just grab on, they grab on, suck you. Suck, they literally suck your life for us, you know? So just be mindful because there's a lot of, you know, your, your spiritual hygiene has to be in order. You know, spiritual hygiene is important. And there's a lot of people walking around out here with spiritually transmitted diseases and they have no clue. So cut people off that don't serve you, that don't give you nothing. I would not go to a restaurant and eat food from this restaurant daily if I'm finding roaches and bugs and freaking pig legs <laughs> or whatever. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I wouldn't go to there. I wouldn't patronize it. Because they're not feeding me. They're poisoning me at this point. 
So you have to look at it as the same. That's the analogy that just came up. But I digress, beloveds. I'm going to dive in. We're going to see what's going on with your money. We're going to see what's coming in with your career. If you have businesses, we're going to see what's coming out with that. As I said, today's Thursday, Thursday. So this is a day that Jupiter rules this day. 1515 was just on the clock. That's synchronicity. And that deals with the number six. And six deals with the energy of the lovers. And the lovers could speak to partnerships, which can, you know, contain or which can include, pardon me, like business partnerships, um, you know, business engagements, like connecting with, you know, uh, like-minded individuals, building and forming alliances. Uh, so that definitely can speak to some sort of union in regards to your money. Maybe some of you all are getting some sort of promotion, pay increase, a job offer. Uh, maybe there is something changing and shifting in regards to maybe if you're on a particular team, maybe you're going to be moved over to a different team. So it's like a level up, a step up. Uh, uh, because of your skill set, uh, that six, six breaks down to 12. So that 12 is the energy of like the hangman. So spirit is really giving you an opportunity to see things from a different vantage point, perhaps maybe if you should, um, accept a job offer, maybe if you should, um, you know, go through with signing, uh, your name on the dotted line in terms of accepting, um, some sort of promotion or whatever it is. It's like spirit is giving you an opportunity to kind of like analyze or to evaluate something. Um, and then that 12 breaks down to three, which deals with the empress. Even if you're masculine, that's an emperor energy. So that just shows that there is some sort of um, financial security I feel you all are obtaining. You're going to receive some sort of blessing or you all are already uh, in business. You have your own businesses and your businesses could be starting to pick up, flourish. You're starting to see an influx of sales. You may start to see more people patronizing your business or more, uh, more um, what do you call that? A uh, more traction. Um, I feel like there's definitely uh, a sense of you feeling very, uh, very stable right now, you know, and this is very attractive. Like you're, you're re very attractive in terms of, uh, people seeing like your value, see what kind of, um, asset you would be, uh, to be on their team or to, for them to partner up with you. Like they see your qualities, they see your work ethic, you know, they see how determined and how driven and how focused you are. And more importantly, how skilled you are, you know, you bring a completely different energy or a different perspective, or maybe you've revolutionized something. And that is why they want to partner up with you because they can see the dream. Like they can see it manifesting and materializing into something very successful and they want to optimize that opportunity. You know, so it's, it's, it's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up intuitively. Um, but we're going to go ahead and proceed with the read. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. To all of my newbies that are tuning in and tapping in for the first time, I go by the name of Q. And uh, I am an intuitive and I'm, I am an empath. And I'm also Claire Audience. So the way that things work on my side of the planet is I play music. And the name of the artist's lyrics within the song, name of the song, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all blends beautifully so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by do not try to force anything ever to be your story uh, my readings are also timeless so whenever this video is popped up in your feed if the you know time stamp if the thumbnail even if the title uh grabbed your attention that was divine timing and divine order uh that you've done so beloved to all of my beloveds my a ones day ones that are returning you already know what it is love is love is love is love is love i send you all extra love because i love y'all that much beloved so without further ado as i said we're gonna proceed with the read but you already know we got to do some house cleaning before we do our shay so let's go ahead and get it in I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, 
ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So what do we have playing on the playlist? So first and foremost, it's 12, uh, 17 on the Klizak. It just turned to 12, 18 soon as I showed you. So we're going to go with both of the numbers because you literally saw both. So uh, that 12, 17, 9, that's four. Uh, I mean, that's two. So there's um, an energy of a, a decision and a choice that you may have to make. Um, as I said, you know, with that uh, hangman that we saw, I was saying that you're evaluating something because you do have uh, some sort of different perspective that you perhaps could be coming into or some sort of epiphany or an aha moment will take place which will kind of shine a light on the action you should take because that number three that we saw also as i said that deals with the empress so this can be in regards to um you know career this can be in regards to a business um you know making the right decisions choosing the right course of action choosing wisely and not feeling like you're stuck in two minds that's what the whole hangman um energy is all about it's about you you know, being in a sacrificial position that spirit has placed you in so that you can see things from a different angle. So it's as if your angels are giving you different angles. That's a saying that's been coming up again in the reading. I think I said it in the former reading, but it's like they want you to see something clearly. And that's why they flip you over to see things from a different vantage point. So it's like, it's about not just being reactionary, but being more so proactive. So as I said, evaluating, you know, dotting your eyes, crossing your cheese, your, uh, your cheese. So see, this is about your cheddar cheese biscuits and dough, your money, <laughs> trust. <laughs> but it's like, you know, dotting your eyes and crossing your T's, you know, and even rereading contracts, rereading um, anything that you're signing your Jane or your John Hancock on. Like spirit is telling you, like, look, like pay attention. And with that number three, the Empress, she's very wise. She's a master manifester, very meticulous as well, very powerful. And she knows how to cope create she knows that she's the conduit of change she knows that she can master manifest her desires so as above so below as within so without so this is a moment of introspection planning preparing strategizing that three deals with the, the solar plexus as well so that's giving you an option to like to go within and to be assertive you know being assertive isn't just about coming out and bucking and yo i want this like this but it's about you know being assertive in terms of what you desire like going after it with that confidence you know going after it uh you know with wisdom wise don't you know not just reacting you know so that requires that moment of introspection so that you can plan you know so that you could strategize and then you take action once you come up with the best course of action so that's a beautiful energy so that's about trusting your gumption your gut instinct that number three as well um because that as i said deals with the solar plexus and that is like your second blur your second brain um so trust your instincts on a situation trust how you feel about a situation don't just you know jump in because it see it sounds good you know what i'm talking about so let's delve in so let's see what we have playing on the playlist beloved now it's 12 21 and that reduces to six so that's your first eye so trust your intuition. Yesterday when I was uh, recording that video for you all, speaking of, um, you know, fake is, is, you know, having no talent rather is the new talent. Um, I saw the number six in the sky. Uh, and that six is definitely saying that there is um, a strong need for you all to trust your intuition and to not go against it. Uh, because I do feel like you could have some negative influences or you could have some folks around you that have some ulterior motives or, you know, that just really don't like you like that. But they just put on a face. They smile. They beguile all the while they're trying to take your place. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to be mindful of that. So what we have playing on the playlist is we have Wu-Tang Clan and this is called Protect Your Neck. I can't even make this up. 
I can't even make this up, beloveds. So protect your neck. Some of y'all could be from Staten Island, New York, um, but definitely keep your head on a swivel. Protect your neck. Your neck is actually a very sacred space. Um, you you really should be anointing the back that you know the the base of your neck where the spine. Um, ends, you should be literally like anointing your neck with um, powerful protective oils. You could even use olive oil and you could draw like a sigil or a symbol um, that is very um, meaningful to you because the, the nave of your neck, the back of your neck um, is how a lot of negative energy can, can um, be transmitted. So say for instance, you at a grocery store and somebody giving you the evil eye and you have your hair up in a ponytail, just being cute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all of that energy can just boom. It's, it's instant access. So definitely protect your neck. That's literal. Like it's literal and figuratively. Um, keep your head on the swivel also because you may have some folks who are, um, really like plotting. I just get a sense of plotting. Um, that 12 that I saw earlier as well, uh, could also be someone kind of like, you know, that could be a plotter's, um, position as well. Kind of trying to figure something out, different angles, how to get in, how to neutralize you in some way. Um, and this is never, I'm never pumping fear, beloveds. I'm just giving you the facts. So you know how to arm yourself. I'm giving you what you need to arm yourself to protect yourself. Beloved it says, isn't about pumping fear because we, we don't do fear. Fear is false expectations appearing real. I'm giving you the knowledge. I'm and you got to do the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you the 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 the, the wisdom and you got to do the knowledge rather. So let's go ahead. So protect your neck. Spirit is definitely saying that there is a reason, um, you know, for you to meet, you know, there's something going on behind the scenes. Uh, perhaps at your job, you may have a bunch of haters sitting around you. You may have some folks that hate you because you make them look bad. Um, we have the number four here. And this number four, intuition. Look at that. I can't make this up. I just chimed in on the fact that I saw that number six, which deals with your first eye. And now we have this. We even saw six because uh, it was 1221, which is six. It reduces to six. And now spirit is saying with this four. So definitely, um, and this four deals with the emperor, which could deal with your work, a boss. Um, you know, this is someone, an authoritarian. Um, this could be like, even if you're in school, this could be like a professor, you know, that just has it out for you. You may feel that energy like, dang, that just like constantly like low grading you, low balling you, um, you know, and spirit is saying, protect your neck, protect yourself, do your due diligence. Um, but also trust your intuition because your intuition that it, it'll never steer you wrong. It'll never steer you wrong. So if you, even if you're picking up on something intuitively, trust it, trust what you're feeling. This number two also that deals with the uh, high priest energy. So the high priest, the high priestess energy, they are uh, like, they, they, they control all the clairs. They, they're, they're very, um, powerful psychically clairvoyantly clairaudiently like they they are you know the keepers of ancient wisdom um and so people that have that that high priestess energy um they may have a higher knowledge they may have divine knowledge divine wisdom um but people that have that type of energy um or that type of ability i should say or capability uh a lot of people don't use their powers for good they try to abuse it and that came up in the former reading as well. So you may be dealing with someone who abuses their power or someone who may try to um, overpower you in some way. But spirit is saying, you know, you're on the same level. You have the same powers. You have the same abilities. But also use this because this will uh, this will help you avoid uh, getting trapped. You know, someone is trying to trap you. And that's why your intuition is very important to listen to. Um, so as not to get misled. And that's why spirit is telling you, protect your neck, protect yourself. Um, because th that the neck, you know, that's the head. Um, and so that's about being wise that deals with the Ram energy. So you have to be very, you know, wise. You got to use your, your intellect. You got to use your intuition, um, in order to navigate some sort of situation. Ashe. So let's see what's on the split. So we have 37 and this is time out. So that 37, one, so this 10, so there's definitely something that I feel like you're, you're being told to take a pause. Um, perhaps you're going to take a time out from the nonsense and you could be putting in a resignation notice because you're just over the nonsense. Like your intuition is telling you it's time to, to leave a situation, to flee. I'm hearing the word flee a situation. Maybe you have fled already with time out. Um, that 37 is 10. 
So there's something that could be very burdensome, something that could be very overwhelming at a place of employment. And I feel like spirit is saying, navigate the situation with wisdom, not with emotion, you know, because this one that this breaks down to is that magician. So spirit could be saying, you're the magi, you are the alchemist that you could transform and change the situation. Just take the time out to evaluate the situation or take the time out the pause, take that moment of pause to really think things through so that you can take the right course of action. Use your intuition. This one is also saying that there is a new beginning, regardless of what transpires. There's a, a, a ex, there is an exciting new beginning, but you are being told to make the right decision. Take the time out to choose wisely. One and 22 reduces to four. So four is saying, you know, I mean, five reduces to five, pardon me, one and five, four reduces to five. So this is like spirit is saying, like with the throat chakra, mind your words, you know, because the throat chakra is really about your expression. So I feel like spirit wants you to take time to think about what you're going to say. I feel like spirit is also saying, don't get involved in silly debates, silly confrontations, silly arguments with hostile energy. These are people that are really intentionally trying to antagonize you, people who are threatened by you, threatened by your work. And so you have to be very mindful in how you respond. And no response is a response, like ig the ignorance, flat out. Make them look crazy, like they belong on a crazy train by just not responding, you know? Let them antagonize all they want. Don't respond. Don't give them anything. Don't, you know, these type of, this type of energy I'm picking up is like almost the five of swords. You know, this is a smug, this is a, a, a just a, they don't even have no self-awareness, no self-control. It's like they've been getting away, bullying people, bothering people, you know, and then they're the type of person to go like start all the rumors in the office, but yet they still have a job. They get promoted because you know why? They're bosom buddies with the boss. They feed all the non nonsense and the drama to the boss. So that's why you could be taking a moment to say, you know what, I, I don't have time for this. This is a very immature environment. These people don't know whether they're coming or going. And you already see where it's headed. You know, it's not, it's not going to, there's nothing, you can't flourish in this type of environment. Even if you do the best job you do in that environment, nothing you do will be showcased or appreciated or valued or uh, promoted, you know? So it's like, you're, you're taking a pause, like, okay, I, I got I to gotta get out of here. You know, it was also a learning lesson for you. There's this one in this tuning two, that's five. Like I said, that's the hierophant. So you've been learning grace, you know, in a situation. You've been learning, you know, to even master your craft and fine tune the skills that you've been able to obtain in this environment. It's mastered your, your ability to do your job, you know, because you, you had to do your job. Like you really probably didn't have no formal training from individuals. You had to just kind of go in and, and take flight, you know, learn on the fly, you know, but I see something powerful coming in for you because, you know, this five also speaks to institutions. So I do feel like there is this sense of you maturing, you mature, you know, maturation is, is garnering some sort of, um, some sort of reward, you know, there's, there's some good news I feel could be coming in for y'all as well. In terms of a job, we have love changes and this is with Kashif. This is, uh, Angela Bofill. Or Angela Winfield, pardon me, Angela Moore. Who is this? I don't know who it is, but name of this is Love Changes, you know. So there's some changes, you know, that are taking place, positive changes. And that five does deal with changes as well. So I feel like you're making the necessary changes. And it's like you're going to choose what you love, you know. You're going to choose something that comes naturally or something that you're really passionate about. As I said, something that you've really been mastering for a while. Like, you know, whatever you went to school for is what you're going to be pursuing because maybe you're not even in that line of work that you got your degree in. So it's like you're going back to what you're passionate about. And that's beautiful. So these are, these are, you're going to love the changes spirit also ushers into your life. Cause I feel like this is, this was, as I said, all a test is all teachable moments, what we go through. So this card has chose itself. What we have here is nine, nine compassion. So we have 63, nine parenting. So perhaps for some of you all, 
You could be mothers, fathers, single mothers or fathers. You know, you could really be also like healing your inner child. This nine definitely speaks to perhaps, you know, there is some sense of like just this energy of kind of maintaining the household, you know, I saw a six and a three in the sky yesterday when I was recording my video, which is interesting. And so maybe that's what you're focused on is your, the home and the hearth with, which, which includes your, your, your children, your family, your stability, you know, the home is the heartbeat, you know? And then I feel also with this 63, you know, with that parenting, perhaps some of you all are, um, you know, kind of going it alone like you're independent you're, you're you're handling all the bills the finances on your own and on top of that you you also have to juggle being a mother being a father you also have to juggle being you know the disciplinary you also have to juggle you know your business if you have a business or any other endeavors that you're pursuing in addition to being a mother a father a single mother a father but I feel like with this nine spirit sees, um, you know, like it's like you have a, a very nurturing, loving, caring, tender heart. And I do get a sense of like, there's been a lot of um, focusing on everything and everyone around you. You know, you've been very self-sacrificing and giving of yourself, putting what your, what your needs are to the side uh, to, you know, take care of the children. You know, you may be the type of parent you know, if you have only, you know, a couple of dollars and your children like, look, I'm hungry. It's like, you'll get them something. Even if your stomach's grumbling, you'd be like, look, you do what you got to do and I'll, I'll manage, I'll eat what's in there. And it'll be like, you know, so it's like you, you always put everyone, you know, to the forefront. You always take care of everyone. And I feel like this, this, this is changing now. I feel like, you know, spirit has seen, you know, the sacrifices that you've made. And I feel like you are definitely someone who's very independent very self-sufficient. This is something you've learned. I feel like spirit is, is really saying that you are, um, a very great parent, very great mother, father, Umi, Baba, and we have voyage to Atlantis. So you've been on some journey, you know, you've been on a journey. You could be dealing with someone named Isley, you know, first, middle or last, but I definitely get a sense of like with this parenting, it's almost like spirit sees, you know, the work, you know, you, you've definitely sacrificed a lot and you still, you sacrifice a lot for your children. You know, maybe you're dealing with, um, the mother or father of your child and there will be a positive change in that regard. Maybe they will start, uh, funneling some money or supporting you, uh, supporting their child, um, more, uh, there could be some positive changes. But I just also get a sense of you like, you know, mothering your style, fathering your style, which means you're mastering your craft, sharpening your sword as well, being creative, tapping into your divinity. You know, as I was saying, even if you were at a job that was just like, oh, I can't stand this place. It's like you just use that time wisely to gather the knowledge you needed to learn as much as you could to build your skill set, your experience, and you're going to move on. Next, we have spirituality. So you've been strengthening yourself. Some of you all will be uh, absolutely uh, in a spiritual career because what you're attracting to you is something that's made in your likeness. This is something you're drawing to you. Spiritually, it's coming. It, it's like you could probably feel it, sense it, taste it. You just got this sensation that something's coming, something big, something huge, and it's positive. I feel there's good news coming in as well. 14, this breaks down to 14. And I feel you've been patiently waiting for this news, patiently waiting for this opportunity. And this is going to bring a sense of balance. You know, this is going to bring a sense of relief. <laughs> I can hear someone exhaling like, finally, like, oh my goodness, that was such a long pause. I was beginning to worry. Like I'm hearing that, like, you know, especially when it comes to your finances with the spirituality for some of you all, if you have a business or some sort of spiritual career, I was picking up the fact that you're going to start seeing, you know, your sales improve and grow. You're going to start seeing like more, um, traffic coming to your site more people are going to start patronizing you. And I feel like a lot of it had to do with you kind of like, you know, like closing something out, you know, wrapping something up. Because as I said, that's 63, that breaks down to nine. And that is all about change. So something's been transforming. Maybe you've been learning 
how to be independent, how to stand erect on your own. You know, you've been learning to stand perpendicular in your square, how to, to be, you know, a, 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 you know, a, a, um, you know, a great mother, single mother, single father, you know, but I feel you're also attracting something made in your likeness. You know, because whenever I see double numbers, I feel like you're attracting something that's meant for you. And I feel like this just, as I said, something that comes natural, something that you are passionate about, something that you that's your calling, being aligned with your purpose and with this non non compassion here. I feel that's what you've learned. Um, you know, that's why I said, like, not responding is a response, you know, because you are a spiritual being, you know, having a human experience. And one thing you you know, you know, on your voyage, on your journey, according to the Isley brothers, is that, you know, you're going to bump into folks that are lost. You got a lot of lost souls out here. It was just 40, 40 on the clock, which is 44. That was the angel confirming. I just saw 40, 44. So that's also the angels confirming what I'm saying. That 40, 40 reduces to eight. And the eight is speaking to your strength, which you've had to endure and overcome. And the fact that you're now owning your power. So that in and of itself could be something that is, uh, you know, envied. It could be something that's frowned upon also. If someone was used to um, neutralizing you, using you, duping you, confusing you, manipulating you. Now you're functioning from, you know, a higher frequency because you are spiritual. You tapped into your spirituality. And we have, it seems like you're ready. So spirit feels like you're ready for this next junction, this next chapter in your life because you've showed compassion. In those moments where you could have judged, you did it. In those moments when you could have like wrecked shop and cussed mofos out, you chose the high road. You forgave. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why spirit is saying, it seems like you're you're now ready for this new beginning. You know, someone's name could be Robert or Kelly. Someone could be from Chi-Town, Chicago. So let's see, how does this person or this thing that Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, Spirit. What's coming in for their finances? Spirit definitely feels like you're ready for the next chapter. Look at that. Aligning you. You're being aligned with your purpose. As I said, a leadership, a leadership role. That's what all that work was. That's what all that resistance was. That's what all the hate was for. Because spirit was preparing you for this. Preparing you for something that you were naturally, you know, ordained to do. Or naturally um, skilled to do. So this is showing that you are, you know, asserting yourself now as a boss. You're no longer the worker bee. Spirit is promoting you to become that boss, to become that leader, that teacher, that shaman, healer, light worker. Because whatever you've endured, however you've overcome those obstacles, that was all preparation. You know what I'm talking about? So we have manifestation. You've been manifesting this. Whatever this is that's coming in, someone definitely sees that you are a master manifester. We saw the 12, which was the three. We saw the four that came out. So that's an empress and an emperor. I'm speaking to a divine feminine, a divine masculine. And this channel is full of them. Y'all have been through the mud. Y'all have been through it. Y'all done crawled, scratched, fought your way through some of the nastiest situations. People couldn't even imagine coming out of on the other side. And you were also a praying person. You were also speaking powerful daily affirmations. You were speaking those mantras. You was meditating. You was calling it in. And spirit is saying it's manifesting. It's coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. So the blessings are going to be pouring in, as I said, and you know this. You can sense it with the seven. That's the crown. That's the crown chakra. And the seven also associates with the chariot. So this is something that's bringing balance, restoring balance. This is something that you willfully, determinedly manifested called in and when you are in balance then you can you know receive the wish fulfillments because this is a wish fulfillment and this is supplying an infinite supply this eight sideways is the infinity symbol so i feel like you have an infinite supply better days ahead no need to worry if you're worrying four 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 on the clock as it was 44 13 that's four 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 angels are saying i'm in ra there's no need to worry because I feel like your angels are the ones that are ushering in it, it, this in because this is the card that's clarifying who or what you're attracting to you. 
So what you're attracting to you is, is ordained for you. This is saying spirituality. So I feel because of your strong spirituality, because you are grounded, balanced, and in alignment, and you've tapped into that God frequency, your manifestations are coming into fruition. Four, 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 yet again. So you are absolutely due a blessing. There's something positively come positive coming in for you. And we have this 48 financial discipline. That's the three of pentacles. So this is new partnerships. This is building alliances. This is cultivating new relationships with people that are definitely on your frequency and vibration. This is doing good business. This isn't because you know the, the business, when you do business, business can be like dirty and grimy because all people care about is the bottom line, which is money. But this right here with the discipline in order, this is going to be a, 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 a building an alliance with people that are um, have a pure heart that can see, you know, because this is what you manifested. This could be what you was asking spirit because this eight and this 12, that three, that's 11. This is justified. So you're getting your just due, you know. This is saying like spirit heard your prayer, spirit heard, you know, your, your, your mantras, what you was asking. You was be very specific about what you wanted and you, you didn't just want money. You wasn't just saying, please bring me a lot of money. Please bring me a thousand dollars increase or please bring me, you know, a hundred thousand dollar job. You were saying, bring me my divine purpose. Let people see my light. Let, 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 let those who have something to offer people that can help me become my greatest version of myself align me with those individuals that's what you was asking for you wasn't just asking for money that is so mundane that's so that's so like eh, like okay you could get money but the money isn't going to sustain you or satisfy you you're asking for quality you you want you like a quality it's quality over quantity that's what i'm gathering it's like because with this financial discipline you're forming very solid connections that three you know, is, is definitely saying like, that's what you're doing. Your hard work, the things you've done in your past, in your present, beloved, it's going to garner you a lot of success. You're going to be getting your just due because these cards reduced to 11. They're right next to each other. So all together, you got 13, four, and then you got this three, that's seven. This is rushing in. This is restoring the balance. All these cards reduced to seven. And seven deals with what? The tr the crown. So you've personally grown. Spirit sees it. That's why they're saying, look, you're ready to take on, you know, you're ready to be promoted, beloved. You're ready to, you know, ascend to the next level. You know, you're being crowned king, queen, empress, emperor, whatever you want to call it. But they're also aligning you with right the right folks, with like-minded folks, with people on your wavelength, your frequency. And we have wake up everybody. So you're here to wake folks up. You're here to to you know, to, uh, to change the frequency, beloved, you're here to change that frequency, waking up everybody 47, 47, 11, 11. So, and this is definitely something you love, but you also will align with your people, with your passion, with your, you know, your purpose. This is just beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. And you're here to enlighten and inspire. As I said, that's, that's what you're here to do. That's what we're all here to do. Some people get blinded by the light. That's why I went into that diatribe. Spirit put it on my heart to, you know, really explain that form of reading for those who may not really fully understand my gripe. And I got corrected. You know, spirit was just like, don't focus on, you know, the money, the numbers, the, the, the subscribers and all of that. Those things don't matter. What matters is who you're touching. The, those comments that you get in the, in the comment section where people are saying, yo, you changed my life. You changed my perspective. You gave me, you know, a sense of inspiration. Like that's what matters. It's not about the lights. That's what they want you to focus on. And when you get focused on that, you start doing it from an unpure place. You start, you start, uh, focusing on the money and the, the stardom and, and not on the message. Cause that's what we're here to do is deliver a message. And spirit was like, he, I told y'all like spirit, put it on my heart, gave me a download. Like, look, real isn't popular. Anything, and I'm not saying that folks can't be, you know, successful and have, you know, uh, a strong uh, following. I'm just saying that in, in, in most case, Spirit said the bottom line is, look, real isn't popular. You're not, you're, you're not going to always, you know, find that, 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 that success that you think you should have. It's just not, it's not the truth. 
you know, not real, real authenticity is not because it's a tough pill, pill to swallow. Some people can't handle the truth, but those of us who do the work, we know how to be chastised. In fact, we ask spirit to ch I ask spirit to chastise me. Chastise me is necessary. Just don't forsake me. You know, I ask the angels to do that because I don't ever want to act like I'm a know-it-all and I have all the answers because then you just become, you know, a mere mortal yet again. And we are some chosen folks. So we always have to be, you know, improving. As I said, whatever isn't growing is dead. You have to always be open to correction, you know, but I digress. Next, we have this 33 communication card. So there's definitely some positive news coming in. This is going to shine a light. You know, and I feel like, you know, it's coming, you know, because, you know, like I said, when you're in this energy of spirituality, it's like you're tapped into a whole different channel of information. Like you, you get the answers before they come. It's like you, you already know, you know, before anything is, you know, solidified. It's like you already know how it's going to play out. Why? Because, well, you are the one manifesting it. You're the alchemist. You're the one calling it in. You know, and it may just be a matter of divine time and that you have to, you know, wait for it. But there's definitely something coming in. So we have the seven and the six. That's 13. That's four. So that four deals with what? The heart chakra. That's also telling you, you know, that's the emperor that there is, you know, a situation where some of you may hear from so, uh, like a hiring manager or may hear from your own manager because the four deals with that emperor as well. Um, there is something being offered, I feel, in terms of of your business in terms of your career and with this leadership i do feel like you are going to take on a role and it is a role that you were absolutely um prepared for because they see this they see a gift in you whomever this is that you whether this is a new job you've applied to whatever it is you're leaving behind it's to go in a direction that is meant for you. This is something you're meant to do. So this is beautiful. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Now, shield. So look at that. Wow. Victory and success. And that's the number six. So this is a beautiful energy. You do have a victory here and it's because that is what you're here to do. Your calling is to wake everyone up. You're here to be a, like a source of information for folks. You're here to feed people. And you've had that wake up call. Like this is your true, this is your calling, you know? And I feel like it's been a journey for you. We just had, you know, the um, um, voyage to Atlantis playing by the Isley brothers. And you see he's at the peak of the mountain, which means that he has had to climb that mountain. So you've had to overcome obstacles and challenges and difficulties and you were overwhelmed, but now you've reached that pinnacle place where success is born. You're coming out of a space where you were, you know, defeated, feeling defeated and conflicted. What did I say about the mind? And look at that five. Remember we started the reading, it was five. And this is all saying like, I was getting that five of swords energy where you have the smugness because it was the two and then it was the three. So reduced, that was five. That's what I'm speaking to. And so it's like, this is the five of swords energy, mentally conflicted. And this is folks trying to like intentionally you know, dupe you, mind up you, gaslight you, stonewall you, confuse you. This is definitely having you in monkey mind, feeling defeated, feeling broken. You know, this is secret competition. This is people gossiping. And you see where he's going. He's going down. This is like a downward spiral. He's not ascending, going up the stairs. He's going down and sinking into like this dark place. That's almost like the epitome of like becoming depressed. So that's why it's very mindful to, to mind what, you know, not only you say, but what you listen to, what you allow people to say to you. Always demand and command your respect. Never let anyone feel so familiar with you where they could talk to you crazy or they could say, because if they do it once, trust, they're going to constantly try you. So maybe that's something that you all had to learn the hard way was that you didn't check someone the first time. And now this is like this, this has been such a, a conflicting circumstance, but the beautiful thing is you have a victory here. And I feel like whoever these individuals were, this is where they're going to be. They're going to be in the sunken place. They're going to be left in, in, in this dark, dismal place because they done mess with the wrong person, you know, cause it's like, you're not putting up with that nonsense. I see a wish fulfillment coming. As I said, the shooting star saying it's coming in quickly. Remember you had manifestation here 
for how someone feels or how this thing that you're attracting to you feels about you, well, you, you manifested it and it's coming in an accelerated motion, which means quickly, abruptly, even unexpectedly. So the Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, Protection, let's get some messages. We have DMX, Hold Me Down, and this is featuring Alicia Keys. So whatever this is, I feel someone was definitely, because Dark Man X, DMX is the acronym for Dark Man X. So someone was trying to hold you down. When I hear hold me down, even though that's supposed to be like a positive, um, it's literally supposed to be like positive to say, oh, you, you know, she done held me down. Um, I don't know why I always feel negative energy when I hear it. Like when you holding someone down, that means like you're anchoring them. In my perspective, in my now spiritual mind's eye, that's how I interpret it. You're being held down. That means you're not allowed to flourish and blossom and grow. You're being held back. You're being blocked. You're being bound. So anchored is what I get from that. Um, and with the name Dark Man X, this could be someone that has a very dark spirit, someone who's definitely not trying to see you progress. That's why I was picking up, like, you could work in an environment where it's toxic as hell. Like, you don't belong there. Like, that's why spirit is like, look, take some time out, ponder, and, and gather your thoughts, and, 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 and plan, prepare, and get the hell up out of there. Because that's not for you. You've outgrown it. Whatever you needed to learn there, you've learned it. Now you're being aligned with something that's on your purpose. And I just saw 5555, five, 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 that's 20. So these people will get judgment. They will get their just due. We have the number four, the heart chakra here. So this heart chakra is definitely, like I was saying earlier, the home is like, the heartbeat and the home is dealing with your stability, your security, your family. This is your babies, you know. These are the people that keep you pushing, keep you going. Like you don't you you don't stop because of them. This could be the very reason why you put up with that job for as long as you did. Because you still had to put some bread on the food on the table and, and keep them lights on. You know what I'm talking about? Put the clothes on them babies' backs. So it's like with the heart chakra, it's like your heart is open and spirit sees that you've persevered through everything that was thrown at you. And that's why I feel this wish fulfillment and blessings coming in. I definitely feel like you have someone also that may come in and, and truly be like, you know, like a, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, coming to help you out with them babies. Someone that'll, you know, be like the you know, a mother or father figure, if you are a single parent or a single mother, a single father, you have someone that has love for you, someone that you could be manifesting. This four also gives it the vibration of 1111. You may meet someone at your place of employment or have met someone at your place of employment. And they may see qualities in you that are very attractive because first and foremost, they see that you're single and that you're independent, self-sufficient. You got your own thing going on you're domestic you cook your ass off keep a clean house like they see all these qualities and it's just like dang why are they single why why what what's going on you know ain't nothing wrong with that person like what, what's going on what's wrong with their baby mama their baby daddy that they let this a good thing go like that's literally how someone is looking at you because this is pure love the heart chakra you know and this could be a divine masculine looking at a feminine or this could just be you know be a a divine feminine looking at a divine masculine with love in their heart, ready to love, you know, might bump into someone, as I said, from your workplace, um, that could very, very well become like your mate. So we have patience and planning. And what did I say about patience? This is seven, seven, seven here. So good things take time to create beloveds, you know, and I feel like you also were being taught patience, you know, cause when you rush, you make the wrong decisions. That's why I was saying that hangman, I was going th into the whole diatribe about the hangman and how that's a sacrificial position because you can't just choose any course of action. You got to choose wisely. This is your life we talking about. Because if you don't choose wisely, you'll, just, you'll leave one toxic situation and jump into the next because you didn't sit and, and, and analyze the situation long enough. So that's why spirit is saying patience and planning, strategize, analyze, evaluate. And then do it all over again. Dot your eyes, cross your T's. Spirit is saying, use your first eye to see. Use your discernment. You know, how does it feel in your spirit? Utilize your tools. You know, apply the tools that you have been obtaining on this journey as you've been maturing and growing and healing and leveling up. On your journey, you, that's what you've been doing. Because that five is dealing with the hierophant. That's all about studentship, tutelage. You've been going through, growing through, uh, you know, that rites of passage, 
being initiated. So you have to pass the test now by applying what you've learned. The application of knowledge becomes wise dome. That's why they felt you were a leader. That's why they felt you're ready for this next chapter, junction of your life. So plan, prepare. This is what you've learned. Being very patient. Patience is also a form of action. I literally just saw 7777 on a car yesterday as well when I was, um, you know, driving. And I'm going to uh, post that also just to show you. So you may be seeing 777s, 999s, 444s, 333s, 888s, 1212, uh, I said 1212, 333s. You know, you may be seeing those number free, uh, synchronicities, those angel numbers. And as I instructed you before, look up the spiritual meanings. Also take note of what you're thinking of in that moment, what you're feeling. If you're, even if you're bumping into the same animal totem, for instance, uh, for um, twice in one week, um, I bumped into a green lizard out while I was taking a nature walk. The first time um, I was with my, my children driving and we saw it in the middle of the street and the same way we did the frog a couple of months ago, we got out and kind of got them out of the street because I didn't want anything to come in, you know, you know, I didn't want anything to come and harm it. And so my daughter kind of ushered it over to the sidewalk into the, to the grassy area just to keep it safe from getting harmed. Yesterday when my son and I was taking a walk to get, you know, out of the household, uh, during that whole, uh, female emergency thing. Um, we were on the, you know, on the path and we saw a beautiful, he was large too, beautiful green lizard, just chilling. He wasn't scared. They usually be scattery running. Both of them were just chilling. Like, Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Like just, just taking in our energy as we were taking in there. So it's beautiful energy. So some of y'all could be seeing lizards, animal totems, you know, frequently, constantly, maybe seeing the same numbers, finding feathers, um, having certain sensations, maybe certain dreams, downloads, pay attention to those things because this is the way your angels and your ancestors send you divine downloads and transmissions. Maybe having a lot of lucid dreams at this time, pay attention. They're communicating with you, pay attention. So we have, um, Mary J. Blige. I don't want to do anything. And so this is the energy of who, what you're attracting to you. That's what spirit is saying. Be patient. So you, you, you're dealing with some folks that like, like I said, you make them look good. They don't want to do anything. They just want to go to work and get paid, you know, whereas you may be very passionate about your work. And so you're working and you working makes them look bad because it shines a light on the work they're not doing. So if you're the type of person, you know, that really goes to work. Uh, you know, very encouraged and inspired to help people impact people's lives. There's going to be some haters on the side because they don't want to do ish, but get paid. And then they want to complain, you know, at the same time as if they're in the, they have the right to do so. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is eight emotional withdrawal. And that'll be there when we pull how, who, or what feels about you. So we have wisdom, wise don't look at that. I can't make this up. And we got the accelerated motion. I love this. So what did I say about a wish fulfillment coming in? This is what you have. These are clarifying. This wisdom is what you've obtained. And we got this eight here. See that? This, see the synchronicity even with the cards? Seven, seven breaks down to 14. That's five. This card is five. Wisdom. Spirit is just confirming what I said. This, this is what you've done. By you taking that time to learn, because that's what the Hierophant is all about. The Hierophant is a teacher. He's a student. When the student appears, the teacher uh, I'm sorry, when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. And when the teacher appears, then the, 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 um, how does it say, how do they go? The, the teacher will disappear when the student is ready, something to that degree, but you know what I mean? So that's what this is. This is you learning and you built your spiritual wisdom, your spiritual knowledge. This is you coming into alignment with your higher self, tapping into that Christ consciousness. That's what's built your spiritual wisdom and knowledge. And you looking back because this is also what helped you, what aided you in this journey. When you look here, remember we had the, the parenting card. So this is about family. So your family has also taught you valuable lessons, perhaps how to navigate these difficult circumstances in the workplace, because you already dealt with it in your home environment and your familial environment and in those dynamics. Even here, we got eight manifestation and then you got eight accelerated motion. So this is wish fulfillment. This is spirit saying, yes, we heard your prayers. Yep. Those fervent prayers that you was saying daily, those mantras, those affirmations, we heard it. And guess what? It's rushing into you. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Those that, that job or whatever it is you was asking for that, that, that 
promotion or that, that uh, business uh, loan or that property to open up a business, whatever you were asking for, spirit is like it's manifesting, it's materializing, and it's here. It's absolutely coming in in rapid speed. This is beautiful. And we have Erica Badu, orange moon. So this orange moon, the moon is all about manifestations as well. It's also about what's hidden. You may not realize that. It's also about emotions. Remember, we had emotional withdrawal in the bottom of the deck. And so that's what you all could be doing, really just, you know, rejuvenating, recovering, you know, not really communicating with people like that, really just taking it all in, cleansing yourself, pure, purging and purifying your energy. Because when you're around negative energy, like especially as an empath, you know, it, it, you take on that energy and it becomes very burdensome. And it could be, it can literally like, you could develop certain ailments, physical ailments, you know? Um, and so that's why it's important to purge. That's why it's important to take spiritual baths. That's why I was discussing like your spiritual hygiene. And that's what he's doing here. He's taking, you know, time to, to recover, to rejuvenate, to heal. Um, and this is what spirit is also saying. So this is a cleansing. This is restoring one's strength. You know, you could have been dealing with a lot of toxic karmic relationships or dynamics in the workplace. And now this is like the purge. You're, you're withdrawing from that because you know, you deserve better than that, as I said. And it no longer, it's not feeding your spirit. If anything, it's just like, it's, it's parasitic, you know, it's like energy vampires almost. So you're, you're withdrawing from anything that does not honor you, value you. You're building stronger partnerships. That's what you are um, focused on is people who are like minds, people on your wavelength, people who are into um, what you're into, you know. Like I said, you're not going to just stay somewhere for money no more. It's not about the money. It's about, you know, saving lives. It's about being the vessel. It's about even being true to yourself and what you're passionate about, you know. What you went to school for has to align. So this is uh, what I'm gathering. We got balance. See that? And that's the number 11. And remember when I had this card, the uh, 48 and the 8, and I was speaking to the 11, and I was saying how things will be balanced out for you. It's like spirit is working everything out in your favor, and that's just confirmation yet again. So what flew out is we have hope. So maintaining that hope, that optimism, that positivity, as I said, daily confirmations, affirmations, like you called this in, asked for it, and spirit is, you was very specific about what you wanted, and spirit is like, here it is. You know, that hope, that's like the star as well. So it's like, it's bringing the balance. It's it's definitely like you were the, out of, out of, you know, the alchemist. You know, you tapped into that, that alchemical force or that I imagination and you manifested and set your intention about what you wanted, the partnerships, the type of work environment, type of people. You, you manifested it because you spoke it into existence. And there goes that nine. This is the hermit. Taking the time to learn, taking the time to build your wealth of knowledge, looking back in awareness. The hermit is this energy here, you know, sacrificial position. Also, like you, you, you withdraw from the outside world, from, you know, the noise of the outside world and look behind her. All these mountainous, uh, you know, rocks. It's just like that just shows what you've had to to um, how you've had to uh, journey through this, this, uh, experience, it hasn't been easy, you know, but you have also learned a lot in your solitude, you know, whilst in isolation, you've gathered a lot of information about yourself, you've learned a lot because that hermit is a wizard. And that's why you have this wise dome here. You took the necessary time to grow and to improve. This is self-improvement. And that's why you have positive news that's coming in as well. You know, so this hope is all based upon because even when you think of the um, hermit card, he's looking um, at the star card and this is the star energy. And even in the sky here, there's a star which lets you know that's the optimism, the hope. That's the faith you walked in to manifest this wish fulfillment, regardless how things appeared you maintain that hope and you trust it. You may have read your basic instructions before leaving earth. You may have written your daily mantras in your book or your manifestations in your book, but you stay true to it. And that's what's bringing in the blessing because she is receiving 
a gift. There's a gift being given. And here goes the root chakra. The root deals with your home, your hearth, your foundation, your stability, your security, your finances. It deals with your work connections, your family relationships. There is a siren going off outside. So be mindful, be aware. Because whenever the sirens go off, I feel there's a cause of alarm. So this is dealing with your security. So someone could be trying to mess with your money. And we have orange moon still playing. So this is someone that's hidden. You know, this is like a hater, a hidden person trying to mess with your money or trying to cause imbalance, you know, disharmony. But you are grounded like a tree, I feel, because you've really, you're not budging. I just get a sense of you, like, especially in the solitude, like, you, you, you appreciate your peace. Like, you're not the type of person that clicks up when you go to a place of employment. Like, you literally go there to work. And that's literally the reason why you may get a lot of pushback or a lot of flack or a lot of hate, a lot of jealousy and envy, even in your real life, because you're not an not up in everybody's face you know even in your community there could be you know people sitting outside just talking and congregating and gossiping about everybody that walk by and because you keep it pushing because you got things to do they may look at you with the stink face and the stink eye and the evil eye because you're busy you know they obviously have nothing to do because they holding up the block they holding up the damn block like they literally all they do their contribution to life is to gossip about everybody that walks up and down the block in the job same thing People come around, hey girl, how are you? And start getting to talk and trying to get all in the good graces just to get your information. And guess what they do? Go take it to everybody in the office, including the manager, including the supervisor, because that's their job. They're the doger. One, 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 one was just on the clock. And that is what? That's five. And remember, we had five. So that was that funky energy that was all mentally conflicted. That's what they're trying to do to you. It's almost like they're trying to mind up you into caring about their whatever gossipy nonsense they got going on and it's like that's why i said you got to choose what you listen to because you ain't you're not interested in that maintain your balance you know and, and trust your intuition use discernment think before you speak and think before you have conversations with people too like people could be trying to trick you um to gather information so think before you relay anything and we have Eric Roberson, and this is called Pretty Girl. Some folks just hate you because you're cute. <laughs> you know, some folks just hating on you because you are fine. You know what I'm talking about? We got Eric Roberson. Somebody could be named Eric or Roberson, first, middle, or last. Somebody can be hating on you because you're about to leave them behind because the name of this album is called Left. So why is this communication here? Thank you, spirit. So look at that. You got a triumph. I told y'all y'all going to have some victories. Look at that discontent and boredom, but you're coming out of that and you're going to move forward towards your dreams, your goals. This is that chariot I was telling you all about. So that's the balance. That's why you're feeling balanced because it's like you, right now you may be discontent and bored because you're trying to like, you know, plan and figure things out. This is definitely, you know, showing that energy. But this is also perhaps because you're dealing with, like I said, that authoritarian. But someone is going to have some regret. They're going to be re regret you know, remorseful. They're going to be, you know, bound by regret for the way that they ask, you know, treating you. Because like I said, you're going to assert yourself and you're going after what you want and you're taking flight. Like, look at the hair is flowing. That means he's out. He's, he's traveling. And this, and, and this is a different depiction of the tr um, chariot. Cause it's, there's usually two. What did I say? The authoritarian, I can't make this up. So that boss, you're fleeing. You're, I, I was hearing the word flee. So you're leaving this boss is ass behind because look at the body language. This is just somebody who is um, power hungry. You know, they just want to be in control. And I feel like you are bolting your ass up out of there because you know your worth and your value. And this person is trying to convince you, you know, that you don't deserve more. Look at this discontent and boy trying to make you feel like you're not deserving of a promotion. You may be more qualified, better educated than they are. And that's really why they try to be a roadblock. This looks like somebody that does not want you to pass them by. They're not open to, I, to your opinions. They're not open to anything. This is somebody very rigid. It's their way, the highway. And this is a controlling energy. And this has kept you stuck. 
you have felt stuck in your career. He's going into the darkness, just like that five that we saw of mental conflict where he was going down the stairs and it was darker down the stairs. That means you're kind of teetering on depression and, you know, feeling like there's no hope and no optimism. And that's why I said, pay attention to the signs, because if you look on the floor, spirit is giving this person like, look, go outside. There's something outside that will give you a different perspective. But he has to look down instead of, you know, he has to look around in awareness opposed to looking down and out. You know what I'm saying? So the communication that is being expressed is going to be intuitively. That's why I was telling you all earlier, this is so powerful, this message. That's what I was saying to you all earlier, that looks can be deceiving. So you have to know when spirit is communicating with you. And here it's clearly it's clear as day that spirit is communicating. They have all of the colors of the rainbow spectrum on the ground. But this person is so stuck that they're not paying attention to, you know, the little synchronicities that are happening around them. Or they're not tapped into their intuition as they should be. Because when you tap into your intuition, you know what spirit is saying. You know when spirit is communicating with you. And that's what this person is missing the message. And when you miss the message, then you can't take flight. But this person does eventually see because you can see they are asserting themselves and they moving forward with, with, with passion, with, with, with confidence. This is a beautiful message. And this authoritarian, this is the energy here, that empress, that God, look at that, new beginnings. So patience, young grasshopper. I feel like that's what spirit is saying. Seed you sow, however you sow them, whether in good or bad faith, is how they will blossom. So if you sow in good faith, you will receive good blessings. If you sow in bad faith, you're going to be met with resistance. That's just the way it goes. That's the way it flows. That's called karma dharma, beloved. So this authoritarian, I feel like you're leaving this person behind and you're starting over. That new beginning is what you're doing. That's why you're fleeing. I was hearing flee, and that's what that looks like. He's fleeing his ass out. He's bolting the hell up out of there. He's out. So this is your reading. Y'all got some good things, good news, I feel, coming in, new opportunities. This seven is definitely, it says triumph. You're triumphantly getting whatever it is that you were seeking, whatever it is you were looking for. But this is your reading, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. This is a little longer today. Messages were a little longer today, beloved. I hope that you all have been appreciating the daily uploads or the every other day uploads um, because that is something that Spirit told me to do. Start, you know, connecting with y'all more. And I will be doing more videos also um, having those little intimate moments. But thank you so much. If you're new, I hope the messages resonate. I hope you like the way that I read. And, um... Uh, Definitely hit the like, share, subscribe. This is a reciprocal relationship. Um, and also check out my Etsy shop if you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank y'all so much. Until next time, I send big fat. I'll show y'all. Peace, y'all.